Good morning, everyone. I already filmed like 20 minutes of the video and only to find out that my laptop had corrupted the file. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start all over again. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Aldana. Welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, I post videos every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You should like, comment, and subscribe just to watch what I'm doing. Every video is different every week so far. Because at the end of the day, I do do this just for funsies, but also I expect at least one person to watch it. And it can't be my partner, you know? Sit down, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn. Today we're gonna do my favorite style of YouTube videos, which is people just reading things and reacting to them. And I live for those videos. Um, one of the first people I've seen do this is Alex Weiss or Alex, something and then um i'll link them down below and then i follow this new girly who's really funny and does a similar thing so i thought of something that i used to do when i was younger and that's reading fml for anyone who doesn't know fml.com i think it's fmylife.com i'm looking down because it's open in front of me right now so if you haven't seen F fmylife.com um i'm on the top right now kind of ones, the people that have liked it, people who have commented, people who have reacted to it. And essentially what people do is post anonymously or sometimes they put their whole ass name, birth, childbirth, date, fucking astrological sign for everyone to see because they don't care. Good for them. Tell a little story and at the end they say, F my life. It's like a kind of story that they tell. And then you have a, I agree your life sucks button and a, you deserved it button. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read through them with you. Again, uh, when I was like 12 years old, I would read these religiously every day. It would be like, I used to be on iFunny. Shout out to the iFunny girlies. Um, and then I, I moved forward and progressed my life. And then I did start reading FMLs all day, every day. Let's get started. So this one is from Schmarf. You heard that right, Schmarf. Um, it's sent in June 20th, 2015 at 6 p.m. from the United States, Belton, United States. Wherever you are, good for you. Today, my girlfriend gave me my first ever blowjob. Okay. And she surprised me by deciding to swallow. Okay. This is already, this is tag spicy. I didn't think it was gonna be like, anyways. Or so I thought. When she came up to kiss me, she spat my man milk into my mouth and almost pissed herself laughing when I freaked out and nearly threw up. I'm gonna go with you deserved it. Immediately you deserved it because girly, if you expect her to swallow and put it in her mouth, you should do the same. Girly, if it's nasty for you, it's gonna be nasty for her. So anyways, <laughs> by Hiddlepuff, um, sent in May 14th, 2015 from Australia. Okay, so I have to do an Australian accent. I actually scratched that I'm not doing a strong accent because um, there's just no need. So, today while teaching my class, I hooked my laptop up to the projector and put on a documentary. I left it playing and went to the toilet. Okay, so rule number one, never leave a class unattended. Anyways, when I came back to the whole class was Talking to my mother. She must have Skyped me while I was gone and someone answered the call, FML. That's a wholesome one. That's a wholesome one, because let me tell you, in seventh grade, one of my teachers, I think he was a history teacher. Actually, it wasn't my teacher. And this is not rumors, this is like rumors. It's real life. One of the seventh grade teachers, um, what was his name? It started with a B, um, was using his, plugging in his laptop to put in the smart board, the smart board girlies, you know, and And that was posted in front of a seventh grade class. Needless to say, that man was fired. Um, what the fuck, WTF, um, sent in June 3rd, 2015. Uh, okay, it's United States, Jacksonville. Okay, so this is the Florida story. You already know the Florida stories are crazy. So this is also tagged a spicy one. Today I gave my girlfriend a hickey, barely an inch from her. She texted me later saying her dad saw it and had grounded her. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure I even want to know what the hell goes on in their home. Girlie, what do you mean your dad saw? Your hickey that was a couple inches above your hoo-ha. <laughs> I 
anyways, that one's, yeah, that, I agree your life sucks, because what the fuck? Um, we're going to move forward from that one. Mm -mm. Okay, next by Matau, July 9th. If you know, you know. Um, from France, Cafuier. C-A-L-U-I-R-E, wherever that is in France. I took seven years of French and girly, how do you fucking say that? <sighs> Today I was late for work, so I grabbed my handbag, my sports bag, and I ran out. The bus arrived at the stop just as I did, so I hopped on and sat down. Slay. Trying to catch my breath, I dumped my bags onto my knees and locked, looked down to see my car. Staring back at me from inside my sports bag. Okay, girl. <laughs> when I read my cat, <laughs> tell me why I thought, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Anyways, it was actually her cat in her sports bag. So that's good. I mean, not good, but also better than the other thing, I think. Um, anyways, I agree, your life sucks. Yeah, that's rough. Your cat is in your bag. <laughs> the bus and nothing else. Um, March 26, 2015, from San Francisco, United States, by Anonymous. Today, my school had to make an official announcement that students were not permitted to go to home, permitted to go home due to Zayn Malik leaving One Direction because so many girls were claiming they couldn't focus on school with such a dramatic event occurring. <laughs> That's actually so funny because when that happened, um, I have a friend, shout out to my friend, you know who you are if you're watching this. If one morning we would drive to school, see her bawling in her car and I was like, girl, are you, hi, you're my friend, are you okay? Andrew, are you okay? She was like, I'm not okay. This is never gonna be okay. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, what happened? He's gone, he's gone. Girl, the fear, my heart dropped. It was Zayn Malik leaving One Direction. Now. I understand this. I saw this happen IRL. The girlies were quaking. Everyone was upset. The world stopped, but we carried on. Um, and I'm sure that you girlies, um, I agree your life sucks. That's really hard. You start to get like this parasocial relationship to all you BTS girlies out there. You understand this. Call an ambulance, call an ambulance, but not <clears throat> for me. Let's keep going with this. Um, let's jump right back into it. This one is from Sweden. Sent on April 18th, 2015. Sent by Anonymous. Today I read my 10 year old sister's diary. Okay, so start off. Don't do that. 10 year olds have a lot going on. Fifth grade is hard, and you need to um, realize whatever you read in a 10 year old's diary was not meant to be read by anyone, not even themselves, because they don't, you don't think about yourself at that point. Um, there's no self reflection. So, you can't reflect for them. Today, I read my 10-year-old sister's diary. That's how I found out about her disturbingly detailed plan to murder me, make it look like suicide, date my boyfriend after helping him get over my death, <laughs> then marry him. That seems pretty normal to me. I'm gonna say you deserved it. Like, how dare you read your sister's diary? Anonymous, March 29th from Scumbag. 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 Oh, um. <laughs> Gomberg, United States. Today I kept hearing a child creepily giggling in my living room. I couldn't sleep and got so scared that I started considering hiring an exorcist. Long story short, be careful if you have a Bluetooth speaker it's because your dickhead neighbor might hack them and start fucking with you. FML. That's fucked up because I would actually be mortified. Um, I would get an exorcist. I'd also just move. Um, and that's expensive just because your neighbor was a dickhead. So I think there's grounds to like file something. A civil suit at least. March 15, 2015, Lake Forest, United States, anonymous. Lake Forest, I know is in California. Lake Forest, California, final answer. Today while having sex with my boyfriend, some homeless person came up to the window and started doing a voiceover. You deserved it. Girlie, close your windows. Anonymous, United Kingdom, London. She got a London boy. Okay. Today I watched a young shop assistant try her hardest to flirt with my 20 year old son. When he continued to be totally oblivious, she outright invited him back to her flat. In front of you? Are you serious? It's not what it looks right in front of my salad? It's not what you guys it are fucking gross. When he asked what for, 
a piece of my soul died at how completely I failed as a father. That's the scene a little too... No, I don't like it. If it was a mom with a son, I'm like, okay, that's cute. Ha ha ha. Your son's oblivious to flirting. But now it's your father and you think you failed with your son because he doesn't get flirting. Honestly, that's a win for me. That means he's not thinking about it like that. Maybe he just wants to be friends. Maybe he's queer. Anyways, also, yeah, it says her hardest. So I was gonna say, maybe I assume that they were straight and I'm the one at fault, but no. Anyways, so many more things. I'm gonna go with you deserved it. Period. I don't think your life sucks just because your son doesn't pick up flirting. You never know what's happening there. Okay, April 22nd, 2015, it's Athens. Athens, Georgia. I got that one. I think, I think, okay, wait, I think I nailed that one. Today my best friend can now say I fucked your mom to me and actually mean it. No further comment. Greatly disturbed, sent from Elk Grove, United States. Elk Grove sounds also like California, but also gives Arizona a little. Today my little sister complained about a young boy in her class pulling her hair. She asked when boys will stop doing this. My mom replied, they won't, even when they're grown ups. Then looked over at my dad and shared A dirty flirt. Okay. Now, <laughs> the layers to this. I'm like literally processing. So this is an old, this is a young teenage girl probably with a little sister. And she's like, wow, this girl's guy is pulling his hair, her hair at school. And the mom's reaction like, yeah, girly, me too. That's not, that's not all what's happening. Like call your principal, call the principal and tell them that you know your little sister's getting fucking bullied your daughter's getting daughter bullied. bullied this is no sexual advance girly okay <gasps> i agree your life sucks because your mother is unhinged for that one from canada lands down 6th of nope july june 3rd from <laughs> my brain computing international dates um today i'm warning you never spoon naked with your girlfriend after eating Taco Bell. The sharp apocalypse just might begin in her ass and end on your stomach. Even if you're running to the restroom, shit on the fucking floor before you shit on the bed, girly. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? I won't judge. Everyone's bowels are different. I agree. Your life sucks. Though. That's really rough. Um, from United States, Loudon. That was really fucking my mind because that U is just an L upside down, so London looked like love. Okay. From April 2nd, 2015, today at the DMV, I was told I had to prove with a doctor's note that I was an amputee and my disability was permanent to get my placard. Mm. B-F-F-R. <laughs> Did that spell? B fucking for prove real. Prove you're an amputee with a doctor's note, okay. S apparently setting my prosthetic leg on the counter wasn't proof enough and is considered threatening. The police were called. Rude, are you kidding me? I swear to God, don't be, be what are you bopping that person's head with my fucking prosthetic leg if they had the audacity to ask for doctor's note of my amputation. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that was too good. That one's funny. That one's funny. That one's an FML for sure. Like that's fucking sucky. Um, Loudoun, United States. Okay, wait, I need to guess where Loudoun is. Loudoun, if it's getting British, it's getting like Northeast, right? I'm gonna go with um, Loudoun. I'm gonna go with New Hampshire. Where are the New Hampshire girlies at? I don't hear you enough. And that's why I think Loudoun is from New Hampshire. Anyways, today I had to talk to my daughter about how I hope her first boyfriend is a special one because spending the night with a boy is a big deal. She replied with a good mom, I lost my virginity at a parking lot for three years ago. I mean, you asked for that. If you're asking your daughter to, she's gonna tell you the truth. She's gonna be like, yo, I got raw dog at the Burger King when I was like 16 years old. I felt that wig. Oh, wig, I feel that already. What is wig? What is wig? wig? No, it's not. <laughs> that one's titled like mother, like daughter. Hold on. <laughs> Girlie, what's your story? What'd you do? <laughs> okay, last one, San Francisco. San Francisco, July 25th. 2015. Today I had to imagine myself savagely beating my cat to death just to stop myself from getting a boner while a girl laid her head in my lap. Thank you so much for sharing. That is all for today. Um, 
Thank you so much for watching. If you had a good little laugh or a little chuckle like I did, these are always funny. I remember scrolling for days on days on days. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please comment, please like, please subscribe and continue watching. I'll post another video next week. Um, 